guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optopotamus Coach with another video review. And this is one I was really looking forward to. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Ironhide. For the package, much like all these new Siege figures, you got that open window with the Transformers text and Generation logo. See that he's part of the War for Cybertron trilogy. Then come around on the side here, and this is the side that has a special black light effect. And you can see an absolutely gorgeous little image there. But when you get the uh, whole light thing on there, that's uh, apparently the Cybertronian text that you can translate via some kind of card. And it says something. What it says, I have no idea. But then you got a little logo right there. Again, I have no idea what it is. But if you guys want to know what that translates to, there you go. You can check it out for yourself. The opposite side here has an absolute gorgeous image of uh, a battle going on with the arc blasting off from Cybertron. I really wish they would give us a giant poster of that. That is gorgeous. Uh, I come around to the back of the package and you can see old Ironhide transforms from robot to vehicle in 14 steps. You can use this figure with the battle masters and all the fire blasts. And like I said, this was one of the figures in this new wave that I was really looking forward to. Leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know which is the other one you think I was looking forward to. But for the packaging on this guy, Guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, so here we have Ironhide opened up out of his packaging and obviously in his uh, Cybertronian van type of mode. And it looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of what the Siege line is doing is taking some very well-known characters, giving them kind of an updated look that resembles more how they would have been on Cybertron, but when they transform into their robot modes, really do have a nice sense of that G1 cartoon look. And I've been thinking all this time that they've been doing an amazing job. And Ironhide here is absolutely one of those figures that stands out. As you can see, you have this big giant cannon thing uh, that you can plug in. He's got all these different ports. You can really armor him up with a six gun, which uh, well, I'll probably take a look at. But taking a look at this, gorgeous detail in here. You can see a really nice silver wash on it. The rest of it is uh, molded in this gray plastic. You've got a nice red rim around the outer section. You can hold it in a variety of ways. you got a handle here. Uh, you got a handle here. A little handle here. You can also bend it and transform it into a hammer. Okay, whatever. But the vehicle mode is, is really pretty cool. It's very, very simple, but it works. The colors are really nice. You've got that red throughout it. You got some silver, you got some gold, uh, some of this gray bit. You see that he does have some of that wear uh, on him uh, with the silver highlights kind of like around these um, cannons. I don't even know what these are supposed to be. They're, they're something. You got a little bit of silver paint kind of splashed throughout it. Uh, the majority of it is on the back section here, which are going to become his feet. But you can see, much like all these other figures that we've gotten, tremendous amount of detail in there with the panels and all the sculpted in detail. Really very impressive. One thing that I will say, though, is the wheels kind of suck. Uh, you can kind of see, like this one, it, it's it's not bad, but like if you go quick, it kind of drags. Uh, the other side, it's a little bit better. So this one kind of sticks a little bit, but maybe they put some silver paint on there that would have made it look a little bit cooler, uh, despite the fact that it doesn't function very well. You can see you got a nice Autobot logo there. You do have Ironhide's head right there. You can open this, and you got a lot of nice silver on the inside. I was hoping that you could do the old kind of G1 uh, look where you rotate his head and his face was there, but you really can't. So vehicle mode wise, very nice. Now let me do a comparison. Uh, now I don't even know where this is, but this is Chromia and they say that this is his girlfriend. Is that a comic thing? I don't know, but there's your uh, comparisons in vehicle mode. You can see what we have. It's a deluxe size figure, so really nothing too massive. Now, uh, transformation is ridiculously simple on this guy, as I said. However, it's fun. First, come around here to the side and uh, split these, kind of angle this off to the side, then you can separate that. These just tab in there, but when you kind of pull everything apart, kind of pulls everything away anyhow. Kind of bend these down, get these out of the way. You can fold this around and then bring this down. You can soft tab that in. You got a little uh, tabbing section, everything there. It doesn't really do too much uh, for a secure tab. It just kind of holds it right there. Then take this front, detach this, fold that down, and then rotate this entire section around like that. Kind of straighten out these 
legs a little bit take these arms it helps if you kind of bend these down because you can kind of see that this top section kind of sort of goes underneath this lip so kind of bend them a little bit and then you can rotate them down so do that there rotate them down spin around like that take this entire back section push that forward lock that into place open up the chest rotate his head and then when you fold it you got this double hinge right here and you got these little slots on the side that match up with a lip right here so bend this and then bring this up that gives him that slight bend to his chest i see so many people just like putting that straight up like that and that's not right you want to have it put in there like that so you get that more classic sort of sloping look for his chest but when you're done there you have Ironhide in his absolutely amazing looking robot mode. And this guy really, and again, the siege line is phenomenal. I, I'm old enough to remember when the classics figures were coming out. And this uh, was the Ironhide that we got. Uh, well, this is uh, the Hank Kate version of him. And... Uh, th there were issues with them, uh, mostly in like the way that the head kind of was droopy. But I remember a lot of us being really happy with this figure. And honestly, being happy uh, with the uh, Classics line in general. And the Siege line is absolutely blowing away all of those old figures. I have honestly just about replaced almost every one of my classics figures with one of the new siege ones as you can see doing the comparison right up front uh this is a great looking iron hide as i talked about what they're doing is giving us cybertronian modes but the robot modes really do a great job of looking how they did on earth in their robot form and this guy really does nail it this wasn't bad the classics line really did give really nice updated looks for the characters while kind of sort of looking like the way they used to and that worked for the longest time but it's this is just night and day i mean it really really is a, you have a big giant backpack here i mean he's just kind of fat looking <laughs> honestly this guy looks absolutely incredible now first is uh accessory uh, you can see that you can kind of sling his cannon under his arm like that and you can get the arm bent i like that i think that looks pretty cool uh the only other way though to get him to hold it would be like this as if it's kind of like a rocket launcher of sorts but that's really big and you can't bend his elbow if you're gonna hold it in there like that um i guess i, I mean there's all sorts of different kind of i don't even know how you could really do that honestly i mean you got to take this and bend that and you, you can have him hold that or that and create a uh like i said a hammer look for him which i mean that's kind of cool honestly giving him a hammer uh, if you don't want to do anything with that you can come around here to the back and you can pop that up like that and you got a little peg right there you can put it there or maybe you can go like that i, I don't really know uh, you can put it on his arm or his uh forearm whatever I mean, it's your toy, right? Do what you want with it. You can plug him in like that. I mean, whatever you want to do. I mean, overall, uh, the, the transformation on this guy is really super, super simple. But like you can see here, I mean, this is an amazing representation of Ironhide. It, it really, really is. As I talked about, I have seen people transform them wrong by leaving the chest up like that. And that doesn't look bad. Uh, it it kind of looks weird from the side. But... Ironhide had that little slight uh, ramp look going for his chest, and I, I really dig that. Head sculpt is amazing. It really has a full-on Ironhide look to it. Gorgeous silver paint. You got that nice crest coming across the forehead area. Nice red. You got gray. You got lighter gray colors. Just everything on here, I mean, the silhouette is great. He's a thin figure. I mean, everything is um, absolutely amazing.
on this guy. It really, really is. Uh, articulation wise, uh, the head will rotate. Uh, doesn't and it has a little bit of up and down, but you're not going to get a lot. You kind of have an extra, just as part of the transformation, uh, shoulder joint, so you can kind of see. Without bending there, you can move that, but then you also have that hinge section right there so and you know then you can rotate it so whatever you want to do rotates at the upper part of the uh, bicep got about 90 degrees here at the elbow the wrists also do rotate which is nice come down here to the waist he can't yeah he can rotate at the waist you got hips and move forward and back. Do, 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 do. They go in and out. One, two, one, two, one, two. Rotate, set the thigh. Bends at the knee. Gets a little bit weird looking at the knee. Um, because you got that little gap, but it's not bad. Uh, the ankles, you can uh, move them in and out. Uh, you can't really move them forward and back, but you can get him completely doing uh, Jackie Chan type of split things. If you want to, you know, if you want to, uh, just an absolutely great looking toy. Uh, it really is great looking detail on it. All the molding that you can see throughout here has a tremendous amount of detail on there. Uh, as I talked about, really the only wear is down here in his feet. I can't find anything wrong with this figure. Uh, his forearms are hollow. I really can't find anything wrong with them. Uh, literally, there's like nothing. Uh, I mean, his, his I guess uh, his his leg here is a little bit loose. I mean, that's just a QC type of thing. But uh, uh, I, I I really I really I'm looking at this and I I'm trying to find something wrong with it and I can't. It's just that damn good. I mean, it really, really is. And I mean, yeah, the transformation is super simple. Um, but I mean, it's 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 not bad. Uh, bring these up. Put that around there. Uh, I mean, it's it's it, it's almost too simple. But it still actually works, so I can't really knock it for it because it's like it works. I mean, a, a super simple transformation can be uh, enjoyable to still do without having to be overly complicated. You just squeeze these, just bring this down, bring this kind of around here. Squeeze this section, fold this forward, this tabs in along the side, and that's it. You're done. I mean, and that even looks cool like it. So this is more than a home run. This is, in my opinion, an absolute grand slam. I guess um, if, if I were to uh, criticize the figure, I would probably say that of the two modes, the vehicle mode is probably the weakest. Um, and that's really not saying much. Uh, I mean, these bits right here, I mean, obviously are uh, arm parts. I mean, if you had like panels that cover that up, that would have been great. But it would have just added unnecessary parts to him in the robot mode. And I think it would have taken away from how good that robot mode is. Uh, his weapon looks great. I mean, a lot of really nice paint detail and sculpted detail in this. Uh, it's dual purpose. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the tires aren't all that great. Uh, you can see that they kind of, they want to scrape on there. So, but, um, yeah, that's, that's all I can think of, guys. Um, this, this is an absolutely amazing figure. It really, really is. I feel like I'm just saying the, the same stuff over and over again. So I'm just going to wrap it up because nothing else needs to be said. He's great. So all that being said, if this version of Ironhide is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is hitting viewers retail locations right now. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, you can skip all that stuff and just order it from Big Bad Toy Store. 
For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to BBTS and you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support, guys, simply by hitting that little thumbs up button. That one small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch the video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, a huge shout out to all of my patrons, who through their continued support, now more than ever, help to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid. You got the touch. You got